Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, the Sun community prepares for another damaging drought. There has been a rise in cases of sand poaching in Norton. A Harare artist has found a unique way to promote his artworks. And in sport, the Highlanders continue their march towards Premiership glory. ATV has been following the troubled San indigenous communities in the arid southwestern part of the country. The Met Office now predicts that the region, already hit by water shortages, will face another drought in the coming season. Crispin Tabura has more. Members of the San community in the Kaunajena area of Choilocho are facing an acute shortage of drinking water after the area received poor rains last season. Villagers are now having to share water with animals, making them vulnerable to waterborne diseases. The Sun community leaders told ATV that their area has been neglected for a long time with little or no water development projects. <laughs> Ne <laughs> Some of the villagers are using indigenous knowledge to purify their water for drinking. Eighty-nine-year-old Sukolumbi Kwao and fellow villagers complained bitterly about their social and economic marginalization. <laughs> Mutilanda, <laughs> The drinking water crisis facing the Sun community needs urgent attention and human rights activists say unless something is done to support them, the community will perish. Reporting for ATV in Kaunajena, Zimbabwe. A rise in construction activities in Norton, around 40 kilometers southwest of Harare, has increased cases of sand poaching, causing extensive damage to the environment. Margaret Chirairo reports. Sand poaching activities has spiraled out of control owing to a housing construction boom in Norton, about 40 kilometers west of Harare. The town council is now finding it difficult to control rampant sand poaching, which has led to serious environmental degradation in the area. ATV spoke to the town council chief executive officer, who blamed the public for perpetuating sand poaching by buying bricks from these dealers. Some of these um, um, illegal activities are actually encouraged by the public or the community. These are the people who don't want to approach the dealers who are authorized to deal in sand, whether it is river sand or pit sand, those who have got permits from EMA who go and buy or take uh, river sand or pit sand from uh, the sand extractors who are um, uh, authorized by EMA. Brick molding and sand poaching activities are causing extensive damages to the environment. It's, it is true that we are facing a problem of uh, land degradation and mostly from uh, pit sand poachers who dig and uh, collect sand or extract sand for building construction, but that is illegal. 
ATV spoke to sand poachers who are earning a living through selling bricks. Norton Town Council Chief Executive Officer denied allegations that there were underhand dealings between council officials and illegal brick molders. I cannot deny or confirm that uh, there are some bad elements within our, our workforce. It is possible that there are uh, bad elements like that, just uh, like there are also bad elements within the Zimbabwe Republic Police Force uh, uh, itself. It remains to be seen how Norton will balance out its demand for growth on one hand and on the other its desire to promote sustainable environmental practices. Reporting for ATV, I am Margaret Shirairo in Norton, Zimbabwe. A Harare-based artist has found a novel way of promoting his work by taking his pencil to a public park in the center of the city. Jairo Saunyama went to meet him. A self-taught fine artist, Hezekiah Makoyo, has taken his drawing skills to Africa Union Square, where he has become popular with passers-by. Makoyo has become the talk of town for pencil drawing prowess. ATV caught up with the artist at his usual workstation at Africa Union Square. The first attempt in Dakota, Dita and Ruby, my first attempt, Jacob Van, by encouragement, because I saw that people were very interested. And also, working in the public with their comments would make me again be again desiring to put in the panima level. Was my comments I ban your son to the Dripa level? It. Makoyo never attended any art school to learn how to draw. For his great artistic work, the youthful artist pockets an average of $80 per week. Sometimes I don't get actually get my marine grekini every day. I can get this message just per week. A week is just something like $80. Art lovers spoke highly of his artistic talent. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. The Highlanders have gone 20 matches unbeaten, raising their hopes of clinching the Premiership League title. Crispin Tavura saw the latest action for ATV News. Highlanders Football Club have played 20 Castle Lager Premier League games without a defeat, pitting them firmly as what favourites to win the league. However, the team popularly known as Boso are now level with Dynamos after Zifa threw out an appeal by Wange to nullify the result of the match which was played on May 6. Dynamos lead by a superior goal difference, but Boso's winning streak continued when they beat Moto Action 2-1 at the weekend. The combination of Peter Riomoyo and Masimba Mambari destabilized the motor action defense, earning Highlanders the two early goals to help them collect maximum points. Motor action replied with their consolation goal in the last half of the match. Soon after the final whistle, Shilamoya fans broke out into wide celebrations under the watchful eye of the riot police. Shilamoya coach Kelvin Kaindu commended his players for having played 20 matches without a single defeat. We will take every game as it comes. We thank God we have gone, I think, game number 20 without getting a loss. We are still focusing on the next game and not uh, at the end of the season. We will talk when the season comes to the end. But I uh, like to commend the players for putting up quite a, a beautiful performance, especially when the game was seemed to be becoming tense. Mighty Bulls coach Joey Antipas accepted defeat but applauded his team for putting up a spirited performance. I'll say that we just have to uh, move forward. Uh, that's the way the game goes. You win some, you lose some. But I believe we'll still come back strong. Thanks, coach. Yes. The race for the Premiership League is now a two horse race with Dynamos enjoying a healthier goal difference of 30 goals and Highlanders a goal difference of 28. Reporting for ATV, Ilmulawayo, Zimbabwe. 